In yesterday's video, I talked about using the trim tool. And one thing the trim tool is used for is clicking and dragging and repositioning transitions. And, and you can do it with clips as well to change the in and the out point of the clip. So with this one, I know she turns around and then she goes and sits down. So maybe I want right as she's turning to be when we start it. So she turns and then she goes and sits down on the chair. Then we transition over to the, the shot there of the hair. So that's one way to use the trim tool. But there's also the precision editor. So to show this, I'm gonna hide a couple of the areas. I'm gonna hide the inspector in the browser. I'm gonna click and drag the timeline so I can get a little bit bigger window here. Hopefully this makes it easier for you guys to see. And the precision editor can be accessed by double clicking on an edit point. So if I double click on this first transition, notice it opens it up. So let me go back and show you. So the first clip we have here is this weight lifter here. She's lifting up a weight. You know, the bar there and then putting it down so she's just kind of showing some form and then we transition over to this clip where she's spinning around and sitting down on the the chair there so again to enter in the precision editor i can double click and now we're in it and just like the name suggests we're getting to be very precise and very specific and this Editor is kind of broken up into three different lanes now, or three areas. We have the first clip that we're seeing. So this is the first clip where we see that. You can see then there's a div division line here, kind of diagonal going down. This is where the transition happens. And in the middle, we see the actual transition itself. And at the bottom, we see the second clip that we're transitioning into. And again, this diagonal line where it's kind of darkened or dimmed and then lit this is where we're seeing what parts of the clips are being used. And using the precision editor here is really nice because you can visually see everything around this edit point. We can see the transition and we can go to the left or the right side to extend the transition. You can, uh, in the middle here, click and drag to move the transition. You can actually roll the transition to the left or the right. And in the viewer at the top there, we're seeing two frames the left frame with the woman there who's weightlifting, we can see that's the first frame of the transition. And on the right side, we're seeing the uh, frame for the girl who's spinning around there. So if I click and drag this, I can see right there, she starts to spin around looking at the right clip in the viewer. And if we look at our transition, right as she starts to spin around, that's when the transition is gonna start. And the transition then ends already when she's spun around again and she's about to, to sit down. So if I drag across through the middle here, we can see what this looks like, get a little preview of it. So we see here she's spinning and it's transitioning and then she goes and sits down. So if I wanna see more of her spin, I have to move this clip, just drag this over to the right a little bit. It's gonna extend that clip, uh, but we're gonna see more of that. And then at the top here, looking at it, Right now, it's and it's not great. We see we don't we see her face at the beginning of this clip. She goes up and then she goes down. And right as her face is coming back into frame is when we're fading out. And I really want to see more of her face in the, the weightlifting part. So I'm actually going to click and drag this clip to the left, and until that frame, right before she starts to move back up, right. And the frame that you're seeing in the viewer up here when I'm dragging is the last frame. So that's the frame at the end of this transition. Uh, or is that the beginning? Actually, that's the beginning frame. So uh, let's take this back just a little bit. That way when it's transitioning, yeah, we see it like that. Okay. Then I'm going to double click in the precision editor there to close it down. And let's see what we get here. So I'm going to play it. She's doing the form there. She comes back down. She's in frame for a little bit. The transition starts. And then we transition to the, uh, the second clip there. So that's the precision editor. Let's see it in another example here. Um, this clip here, we're gonna use it at the end. Uh, I'm gonna double click again anywhere on this transition to open the precision editor. And with the precision editor, I can lengthen the first clip. We wanna extend it. I know she looks at the camera and starts laughing at a point. So when she looks back down, that's when we'll start to transition over. So uh, again, the look, the, the frame that we're seeing uh, at the top there is the first frame for the transition. So she's laughing and then she looks down and we transition to the beach stop. 
you know, I could move the transition if I wanted to, or adjust the second clip's length, which will make it a little bit longer. And this is really nice too, because we can see how much media we have available. So I can't go any further to the left here because we hit the edge of that clip. If you want to extend the transition length, then I'll double click on the precision editor, close it down. If we play the shot, we can see now she looks at the camera because she drops her little food there, <laughs> laughs, and switches back over. Now we're transitioning to the other clip. So that is the precision editor. Essentially, you can do a lot of the editing that you could do with the trim tool and some of the other tools, but you can do it all right here in the, uh, in the timeline without having to use those other tools. And the precision editor gives you the benefit of being very, very direct about what you're editing with. The one other part um, that I want to do as you're getting used to it, you can navigate between your edit points just by clicking on the little points in the timeline. So I can switch between them there. Um, or you can use the shortcut on the keyboard, or the, I guess, not really shortcut, just the keys, either the up or the down arrow to navigate between the edit points. So especially for those of you who have created your rough cut, you're done with the rough cut, now you're going through and, and refining it, and you're getting close to uh, locking it down, you might go through all of your edits using the precision editor to tweak every single one of them, modify them just a little bit. This is a great way to do that, very quick way to do that, because you don't have to exit uh, the prison editor. You can just do everything right there. So get used to it. Use it. Love it. If you like this video and this tip, give this video a like. If there's something specific you'd like to learn, leave it in the comments. Let me know. Uh, that lets me know what you actually want to see. And then, you know, I know there's questions out there. I get them all the time with different things. If I see specific questions coming through more frequently, I tend to make videos about those topics. So let me know what you want to see. Otherwise, uh, enjoy your editing. I hope you use the Prison Editor and it helps your workflows.